hope you're doing well. I've been doing great past couple of days. Tonight, I want to go over how to set up a grid trading bot on KuCoin Exchange. I've been using KuCoin Exchange since around September 2020. Uh, it's been doing great for me. I've traded a lot of coins on KuCoin. I use it quite frequently with BitsGap. So I've had a really good experience with KuCoin. Um, I have used their trading bots a couple times. They're very similar to how the BitScout trading bots work, but I think they're even simpler to set up. So tonight, I just want to transfer a little USDT into KuCoin, and I want to show you how to set one of those up. So let's get into it. So guys, setting up a KuCoin trading bot is actually fairly simple. Uh, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to KuCoin.com. If you don't have an account, I have provided a link in the description so you can set up your own KuCoin account. Uh, besides running a bot, like I said, KuCoin is a great exchange to use. They don't require KYC for U.S. citizens, and they got a lot of coins like you can't get on other exchanges, uh, you know, like Coinbase and Kraken, uh, such as like XRP. Uh, you know, like if you want to trade XRP, you can get it on KuCoin as American citizen with no KYC, but you can't get it on uh, Coinbase or Kraken because they're a little more strict. They do KYC. They can identify if you're an American citizen. For uh, people in other parts of the world, um, congratulations that you can trade on many different exchanges like Binance. But for us U.S. citizens, it's a little bit harder sometimes when we're looking for certain coins or we want to get into a coin uh there's a lot of whitelisting goes on too with like initial coin offerings stuff like that and we just can't get into them um and there's a lot of money in the u.s so that's too bad you know because it could really help grow crypto a lot if some of that money could flow into that or into these programs a little bit easier but like I said, I got a link if you want to sign up for KuCoin. Uh, like they say, one out of four crypto holders is already in KuCoin or they use it frequently. But uh, I'm going to send a little bit of USDT from my wallet. I got about $1,100. I'm going to send about $1,000. Uh, you know, I use this Exodus wallet here. It's just an intermediate, intermediate wallet. Uh, to just kind of hold some funds sometimes and then I send them to exchange or I send them to a, a DeFi or a DEX or, you know, my MetaMask or just somewhere, you know, there's a play that I want to get into sometimes or something. But uh, we're going to send this over to KuCoin. And if you look up here, after you sign up for your account, you go to assets, you go to main account. And then you're going to see USDT here. If you don't see it, you can type it in right there in the main account. You can see I got 400 something US dollars and USDT in there at the moment. So you're going to go to deposit right here. And I'm using Tron because Ethereum, sending USDT on Ethereum is very expensive with the gas fees. So I'm going to use the Tron network because it's a lot cheaper. Uh, you know, I think it just costs like a dollar or not even that. It's very cheap. So you click on TRC. My wallet address comes up. I'm going to hit copy. I'm going to go back to my Exodus wallet. If you are interested in Exodus, I'll leave a link in the description to that. It's a totally free wallet. I don't get no commissions or anything like that from it. So if you want to use it, use it. Um, it also has support for using uh, Trezor. It's on this tab right here if you want to hook your treasure into it and use it through Exodus. But for right now, I'm just going to send my tether on the Tron chain over to KuCoin. So I'm going to hit send. And I already copied. I'm going to hit it again. See where the copy comes up. Go back to Exodus. I'm going to paste my Tron USDT address you want to make sure this is Tron. if you put ethereum in here it'll tell you it'll put, have like a little x so that's a good thing at least it warns you uh i'm just gonna say i'm just gonna send and eh, let's just send a thousand that's good i'm gonna leave a little bit in there so i'm gonna hit send let's send it it'll ask you to confirm so yeah it's uh 11 cents i think was the 
fee on the Tron network, which is great. And a lot of people send their USDT now over Tron. Uh, because, you know, like, Ethereum, the gas is just so freaking high. So who wants to pay that or who wants to deal with it? I don't. Definitely not an Ethereum fanboy here, by no means. So it sent, hit OK. You go back here and you can just wait. You'll see the little thing spinning. So I'm going to pause the video for a little bit. We're going to wait and then we'll get started setting up, setting up the grid bot. All right. Thank you. So now we can see the thousand dollars of USDT that we sent over the Tron blockchain has showed up in our KuCoin wallet. And like I said, that was deposited in the main account. Now you can see we have $1,427.43 versus just $427. So that thousand dollars was able to make its way to our KuCoin wallet address. So now we want to set up a bot. We're just going to set up the regular trading bot they offer. You go up here to trade. Oh, you know what? There's one step that we got to do. And this is uh, not, I don't know if it's really exclusive to KuCoin, but just the way they have their money between the main account and trading account. You do got to go to main account and you do got to transfer, let's just say, thousand usdt between your main account and your trading account they keep those two separate so then you hit confirm so that's going to send a thousand usdt from your main account to your trading account and now you can see we have a little bit more in our trading account so i got 1335 i'm going to use thousand a thousand dollars in the bot so you click up here on trade you go to trading bot and you can see 5,682,824 KuCoin trading bots have been created worldwide. That is quite the number, a uh, very high number of trading bots they have running. Uh, and they have a couple different trading bots. Uh, we're going to do this one where it says newbies recommended, spot grid, uh, highest APR today, 3,606, no, that's 3,606 percent. Uh, 4 million bots are running on that at the moment, which is just mind blowing. You can kind of see a ranking over here of different coin pairs. If you want to look at them, uh, you know, like who's making the highest percent on some of these, it shows like the volatility, the change, uh, you can see like BTC pairs, ETH pairs, USDC. We're just going to stay with the USDT pairs. Uh, you can see the seven day. This guy here, Ryman's, made like 10,000% running this SOS uh, USDT coin, which is kind of interesting. That one must have really pumped the SOS coin. And you can see the daily, uh, look at the daily on one, one USDT, 3,000%. Uh, one did have a little bit of a run up. That's Harmony One, for those of you not familiar with it. Uh, I actually hold quite a bit of Harmony One uh, on my Trezor, so. It's really good coin, good blockchain, good team behind it. Uh, so I am going to click on create bot here on the spot grid. In the future, I'll do some of these other bots uh, like this infinity grid. That's kind of interesting. Um, DCA, uh, that's where you just make profits from regular investments, you know, like $10 a week or whatever, $100 a week, whatever you want to put in there. It's probably scheduled at certain times, you know, to DCA or when the price of the coin gets to a certain level, uh, you know, the bot's going to buy so much of that coin. Uh, smart rebalance. Uh, that's where a bot just rebalances your portfolio, uh, trying to spread the risk out long term. And then the futures grid. I don't really know if I want to mess with that one too much. Uh, mainly the spot grid and the infinity grid I'm more interested in. And I do want to add that KuCoin has a great app uh, for a mobile phone if you want to download it. It's one of the better apps that I've used for exchanges, centralized exchanges. And you can set up all these bots on the phone too and run them, which is kind of cool. But uh, that's some pretty good features there with KuCoin. Uh, this one kind of shows running bots, which I don't have any running. I'm going to go back. So let's create a bot. 
So what bot do we want to create right now? Let's create... Hmm. It's always fun trying to pick out a bot that you want to create. So guys, I was doing some check-in and I have decided I want to run a bot on Luna USDT. Terra, Luna, that's another great uh, layer one blockchain protocol. Uh, as you know, there's about $10 billion now just on uh, UST, and a lot of people are staking UST over on Anchor Protocol. That's something I plan to get into, but Luna has just been blowing up. Uh, lots of great projects on there. Uh, I got to looking at the chart. It's down a little bit in the past seven days. Uh, past day, it's been steadily going up. Uh, we're, we are in a little bit of a dip, so I think it'd be a good time to start the bot, uh, considering the high, you know, was back around, uh, December 26th there, 2021, got over a hundred dollars. So let's start the bot on Luna USDT here. So I already got it in the little search bar here. You see it come up. You're going to click on that. So then you'll see uh, the price of it right now. So the AI parameters automatically adjust the price range right here for you. I think I'm gonna set mine up custom. So I'm gonna click on this custom tab. I was just looking at the price range of 55. I think I'm gonna set it at like 50. I'm gonna go to 125 on the upper range uh, and probably like 60 orders. That's your grids pretty much number of orders placed kind of like on bits gap where you set you know 100 grids 50 grids that's really your number of orders because the buy it's going to buy like on each one of those grids it's going to set up a limit order so when the price gets to that level or that grid level it's either going to buy if the price is dipping or it's going to sell if the price is going up so let's go to customize so like I said, I'm setting 50 for the lower range and 125 for the upper. And then number of orders placed, I'm going to do 60 grids. And then the interval, that's 1.25 USDT. The profits per grid after the 0.08% fee. Like I said, KuCoin's got very low trading fees. So there's going to be a 0.08% fee for ever buy and sell. So the profits after that is going to be... 0.84% to 2.33, which is pretty good. Um, I don't have any Luna right now, so I'm not going to check that to use that as part of the bot. Uh, I'm strictly going to use my 1001 USDT here. That's about 75% of the available balance I got. Basically, the bot's going to take that 1001 USDT and it's going to buy a certain amount of Luna out of that and then it's going to trade that out and back and it's going to make money in tiny little increments uh very similar to bits gap if you watch some of my videos there uh but honestly i think this is even easier to set up than bits gap so now we're going to hit create and it's going to ask you to confirm we'll transfer from trading account 1001 usdt it's going to trade luna usdt price range between 50 and 125 uh, USDT and then placed order is going to be 60. That's like grid levels. So it'll be 60 grid levels. Profits per grid after the fee is going to be 0.84% to 2.33%. And then that trading fee I was talking about, it's very low on KuCoin. Uh, you know, it's kind of in the same range of what Binance is. Really good fees. So, uh, like it says here, to execute the spot grid. The bot will first buy 7.76 Luna at the optimal price. And it's going to buy that Luna from this 1001 USDT. Then it's going to start trading it like I was just talking about. So you're going to want to hit confirm now, right? So hit confirm. You're going to see the bot starting to set up. It's going to go through this process and then it's going to start. Looks like it's already started here. You can click on the details. So you see, you can see all the limit orders here that's been set up, right? So 36, 36, and then 24. That'll be your 60 grid levels. And like it bought 7.7724 Luna, and it still held on to 383 USDT. Now as the buy goes up and down, you know, these numbers are going to change because... 
if it goes up it's going to sell all that luna until it gets to the top of the grid then you'll be holding all usdt if the price starts to dip it's going to be selling that or no it's going to be buying more luna with that usdt that it accumulated so that volatility is going to be making money off of constantly so just keep that in mind it's just like i said it's really similar to bitsgap so it's running right now just started it uh we'll come back you know in a couple weeks or maybe next week and take another look at it and see how it's running but uh other than that that's all i got um like i said i'll put a link to exodus here if you're interested in that it's a free hot wallet is what you call it um, but it does have integration with a Trezor device, which I use a Trezor and a Ledger. If you're interested in that, I do got some links for those as well. It's always good to use a hardware wallet. Uh, that way you got to have that physical pin. You got to have it in your hand to be able to transfer your crypto away from you. Uh, you know, if you're just holding it somewhere without any kind of hardware wallet, um, you know, somebody could slurp your funds dry you know if it's just hanging out in your metamask or something but most wallets uh have a feature now you can integrate a treasure or a ledger and uh i also got some links for some other exchanges you know if you want to buy crypto to send to kucoin you know to trade it to usdt uh to be able to run the bot you know i've bought i've bought a uh, crypto like on coinbase uh, cash out voyager out i got links to those if you're interested but um yeah just trying to help you guys out because when i started last year in 2020 i had a hard time figuring out uh where the best places to buy crypto was if i wanted to send it somewhere else uh kucoin can be a little high but you can buy it directly on there i think they use like that simplex bank but uh i got some other good ones like crypto.com is a good one I got all those links if you're interested not trying to shill it or anything but uh just trying to help you guys out that's all and uh be sure to check out my twitter i'm pretty active on there check out the telegram group it's about 300 members now and the discord went over 200 members so be sure to check those out lots of good people in there uh you know talking about crypto we talk about all kind of things uh, you know, like the arm forks, you know, strong nodes, yield nodes. We talk about all that stuff. Uh, even got a little crypto trading bot uh, channel set up to talk about BitScout, Crypto Hopper, you know, some of those trading bots. But that's all I got for tonight. I hope you enjoyed it and you have a good rest of your evening. Thank you. Good night.